hello 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 welcome back to these divinity these divine tarot thank you for joining in with me today Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this beautiful, divine, feminine, holistic health and healing energy. Whew. It's glorious, y'all. It's glorious. I feel something magnificent. And I was getting ready to say magical this week. And I feel like it's leading into next week as well. So, if you haven't been keeping up, I strongly advise you to do so. With that being said, let me go on and move into the disclaimer. Please check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid. Meaning, you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come. If you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that Spirit has for you in the reading or readings, okay? Keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you. That's perfectly okay. Just take what does and let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. Now, I know that we are specifically focused on the divine feminine aspect. However, I may say he, she in reference to masculine and or feminine energy. It all depends on what I feel intuitively, okay? Roles may be reversed. You'll plop yourself as you need to. Only you know what's going on in your life, okay? Don't force it to fit. If the shoe don't fit, do not force it, okay? Don't come really talking about your feet, your toes, them currents hurt, because I didn't do it, you did. Always be self-aware and self-accountable, right? Use your discernment, your free will. All right, y'all. Um, also, if, uh, you know, if there are any numbers, I'm big on numerology, whether or not I call them out, it may be of importance to you. If I call them out or whatever, I may just be referencing your life path number, the month or day you were born, um, the house in your birth chart that you may want to pay particular attention to that may need healing. You know, the energy may be focused there. I don't know. Spirit may just be trying to get your attention, especially if it's like your favorite number, your jersey number, your kid jersey number, if you have kids or, you know, a number you may want to play in a lotto or recently played in a lotto. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's a special message for you if it grabs your attention, okay? Whatever spirit guides you towards is important, so pay attention. All right, I think that's all. If I forget something, y'all, like I said, ask. Most of everything should be in the description box. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Come on, girl, don't start right now. We ain't even got into it yet. <clears throat> Let's go on again to prayer really quickly. To the most high, heavenly and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you thanking you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for always using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages for the collective. Straight no chaser. Clear no chaser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being my rock, my sword and shield. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Thank you for all of the blessings and opportunities that you have bestowed upon us, the lessons that we are meant to receive in order to continue to grow in this thing called life. I thank you. I pray that, as always, the message uplifts, enlightens, strengthens, heals, protects, nurtures, encourages whatever the viewer needs at the time of viewing, and may it play out for the highest good. As always, I know it will. And these blessings I ask once again and give thanks. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, you guys. So for this week, we're going to utilize the beautiful Keepers of the Light um, by Kyle Gray and Work Your Light Oracle by the beautiful Rebecca Campbell. And I also have a few other decks. Um, I have the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine, as well as the Fairy Tarot, just in case we wanted to get a little more clarification. Okay, but um, but. You know, generally the messages come out as they come out, you know, <laughs> like I said, straight no chasing. But anyway, without further ado, you guys, let's go on and get into it. They've already been shuffled and blessed. 
and they're ready. Okay, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and see what spirit has for us today. What do you have for divine feminine today, spirit? Just one, please. Just one. What keeper of the light wants to grace our presence? This one right here. <laughs> Ganesh, beautiful. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. I love it. Love it. Growth and abundance. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, honey. And then, let's see. I probably should go get a light. Um, Hold on. Okay, I really don't know if it helped or hurt. But, um, all right. So, in the bottom of the deck, you have Joan of Art. Voice of Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. All right. What you need to be speaking up about, honey, you got a very important message to share. Because even coming off of yesterday, some of you are meant to be oracles. Spread that gospel, honey, of love and light. For real. Let's see. What? That was fast. <laughs> that was fast, fast, fast. Deep replenishment. That is perfect. Even coming off of yesterday as well. Because we talked about this rest, rejuvenation, four of swords type energy. Hermit energy, Okay. It says, retreat, rest, be held, heal yourself. Because I do feel like some of y'all, many of y'all have come, are coming, or will be coming out of many dark nights of the soul, many transformative energies. And this is really going to be needed. Very much so necessary. Okay. Can y'all see that? Not really. Oh, hold on. I really don't even think that made a difference. Anyway. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck we have. Dance with life. <laughs> Do something to change your energy, baby. Play is coming through from yesterday. Move to the rhythm of your own drum. Have fun. Do what your heart is desiring for you to do. That's your truth. Move in spirit and truth is what I'm hearing. That's maybe even what will um, replenish you. You know what I'm saying? Rejuvenate you. Listen to your heart. Just follow your heart. That's where the abundance lies. That, that's where your prosperity lies. All right. So let me let me find these real quick. Lord Ganesh. And then let's see. Joan of Arc must be in. Yeah. Okay. So Lord Ganesh is on page 68 and 69. And it reads, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Ganesh, also known as Ganapati, is the Hindu elephant-headed god, the son of Lord Shiva and the goddess Parvati. Legend says he received his elephant head as a replacement after his father sliced his human one off when he was mistook him for an intruder. Ganesh is acknowledged as the lord who removes obstacles and is much loved by taxi drivers in India because they believe he helps them weave in and out of the crazy traffic. <laughs> Ganesh is a sweet tooth, life-loving, joyful <laughs> love. Because it's about to say Ganesh is a sweet tooth, life loving, joyful, dancing, and very approachable guy. He will use his light to weave a perfect path for you. I'm telling you, but like, it's all connected, y'all. Take heed, please. It's important at this time to move beyond the limitations of, quote, it's, end quote, not meant to be. Well, sorry, that's not right. <laughs> It's important at this time to move beyond the limitations of, quote, it's not meant to be, end quote, and focus on, quote, if this is for my highest good, then the universe will take me there safely, end quote. Ganesh is not only bringing clear light to your external situation, but also helping you clear up any inner conflicts. When obstacles arise, know that they are just reminders that you care about your path and that you have the ability to change your current situation. Ganesh is here to help you. Thank him for clearing the way to increase your connection to him. You may want to chant in Sanskrit, quote, Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha, end quote, okay? And they, uh, there are plenty meditations out there, you know, if you want to search for them. But that's what you can repeat, okay? Moving on to Joan of Arc, which is on pages 54 and 55, and it reads, Voice of Truth, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth. Joan of Arc was a medieval French peasant girl who was reported to have been visited by Archangel Michael and other saints who gave her information on how she could help Charles VII save France from English domination. 
She was only a teenager when she went into battle for her country and won a huge victory. She was, however, later captured and burned at the stake. These days, she is a supremely loving guide to all those who want to stand up against the odds. She also helps many light workers overcome their fear of persecution. I love that. All right. You're being encouraged to stand strong. You may feel unrecognized and misunderstood, but that doesn't mean you have to give up on the mission you feel called to fulfill. You must follow the will of your soul and exercise your leadership spirit by speaking your truth. You may feel as if you are on a battlefield, but this conflict will come to an end as soon as you stop defending yourself. You are not here to prove to yourself to anyone. Well, it says to others. <laughs> Instead, approve of yourself. Know that your angels are on your side and that heaven is thanking you for being the honest soul you are. This is perfect coming off of yesterday. Okay. All right. So moving on into the work of light to see how you may utilize these energies a little bit better. Now these I'm going to have to search for. So give me a second. <laughs> I, had to, I said, oh, when I um found them because they actually right after another. So it's, it's kind of moving into divine order. So with that, we're going to start with the bottom of the deck, Dance with Life, because that's the first one. It's on page 62 and 63. And it reads, do something to change your energy. Life is always moving if you resist this ever-changing flow. Your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of flow with the universe. The universe has a mysterious intelligent force, a natural rhythmic beat, which governs all of life. And it's connected to your own heartbeat, all right? which is very interesting because it's unique for everybody, which is perfect because your path is unique. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same as Billy Bob, Joe, Jewel, whoever else, you know? And that's okay. Um, so one of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency, and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it. When we dance unrestrained, our spirit takes over, and with each new bop, sway, and kick, we are rocked back into harmony with the rest of life. Get unstuck by doing something that shifts your vibration. Put on some music, dance unrestrained, and fall into the frequency of life. In doing so, your body will begin to learn how to be moved by your intuition, which is connected with the systemic beat. Tell, telling y'all, that's your heart. That's that abundance, okay? And it's likely needing healing and replenishment, because I'm telling y'all, some of y'all been through a lot of dark nights of the soul. You've probably been through breakup after breakup but understand that was for you to truly find your um the, your true authentic partner and soulmate okay if dancing isn't your thing then simply do something that you would not usually do to shift the energy you cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it and you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first that's getting out of that insane mentality right because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting different results it's time to shift things up and to find a way to dance along with the beat of life. And they leave you with work your light action. It says do something to change your energy. Okay? Moving right along into deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. Oh, mind you, this is 64 and 65. The most selfless thing, selfless, okay, thing you can do is to fill your own inner well. When we are running around half-filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us the nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you're running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile, and rich. This is perfect. Thank you, Spirit. Tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile? Overspilling with life. It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good coffee at your favorite cafe, attending a women's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along the beach, or yin yoga. What nourishes you is your medicine. When you give yourself the medicine that you need to be nourished, you nourish all those around you, for there is more than enough to go around. I love that. They leave you with work your light action. Do something that deeply replenishes you today. All right, my beautiful angels and spirits. I pray that that resonates with you. If it does, y'all know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow. 
especially including yourself though, okay? And if someone comes to mind, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're joining me for another day, you can check the link in the description box down below. I'll see you there. If not, please take care. I love you anyway. Again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until the next one, y'all be easy. Love and light. Peace.